Hello and welcome to Texit Tutorials. Uh, today we are going to talk about generators. Uh, this is the second part of the series, generators and iterators. Uh, in the last tutorial, we covered uh, iterables and iterators. And so this part, we're going to cover only generators. If you want a, a recap of the last tutorial, you can actually look at the tutorial. I'm going to provide a link here so you can watch it and then come to this tutorial. But I will provide a quick overview of uh, iterators uh, in this tutorial as well. So those who didn't learn uh, from previous tutorial can learn here. So a quick recap, recap of iterators. Uh, arrays are iterable objects, which means you can iterate through you know, values of array. So let's say if I have an array called uh, i, and it has a bunch of values, let's say one, two, three, four. By the way, I'm gonna go really quickly. Because it's an iterable object, it has uh, this special property in its prototype called symbol.iterator. Uh, and if I execute that property, uh, which is a function, if I execute this function, I will get an iterator back. So I can say let, I would say i, and then symbol.iterator. Uh, and I have to execute this function. When I execute this function, it gives me back this iterator. Now, this iterator is very special. It helps you uh, iterate through this array. Uh, it using this special function called next. So if I say iterator dot next, it will give you the next value of the array. In this case, because if I'm calling for the first time, it will give me one. I would get an object uh, with value one, and it also give me another property called done, which is false right now. So done is nothing but uh, uh, telling me that I am not done with this array. Uh, I still have some values to go. Uh, once done is true, which means you are at the end of the array. So if I call this uh, next five times, see four times to iterate to value and the fifth time, is to get the uh, done equal to true. So if I call it five times, um, I should get, you know, the first four times I get all the four values and done is false. And the fifth time, the value is undefined and the none is true. So at that point, you already know that it's done. Um, it's done. This is a recap of how iterators work in JavaScript. Now let's look at the generators. Now generator is nothing but a special kind of function that were introduced recently that, that helps you build all this value for iterators to be used. So uh, instead of having all this value here in the array, uh, we can dynamically produce these values uh, using generators. And, and the generators are also a little bit special because it holds the state of this, uh, this object. Uh, so they look like normal function. The, the only difference is it has this weird uh, star in front of the name of the generator. Um, you can also put this star here right after the function. This is also a valid syntax. So when it looks at the stars, the JavaScript knows that this is a, a generator and not a normal function. Uh, I usually prefer to put the star in front of the name of the uh, generator. Uh, it has another new new expression called yield. Uh, yield help you generate the values. So if I say yield one, so I'm just gonna do exactly what we did in the last example, but instead this time, instead of array, we are gonna use yield. Two, three, and four. Now, if I execute this function, I will get an uh, iterator back. Generator. Now, again, it's the same thing. I can use this iterator to, uh, you know, go through each value using the function next. So if I say console dot dot next, and I can call it five times, and when I run it, it gives me the, exactly the same values uh, that it did previously when I was using. Now you must be wondering why the heck are we using this uh, generator to produce these values, you know? 
So generator doesn't produce all the values in advance, just like array, which already has all the values. Uh, here, when I call the next, at that time, it generates that value using yield. So when I, when I have the first uh, next function, at that time, it yields one. And so all this other stuff is not even produced. So that is the beauty of it. It kind of stops. Um, it kind of pauses. And then when I call it again next, then it produces the next value. So it kind of maintaining the state of it. Now, what if I want to uh, build something where there is no limit? A generator. And I'm going to call it uh, infinite maker. And here, I can actually produce let i equal to 0 to start with 0. And I can have a while loop, true, which means uh, it's just going to keep going. It's never going to stop. Um, yield i and i plus plus. So if you look at this uh, generator, it basically is uh, never going to stop. Uh, if you write a function like this, you will get a, a stack overflow instantly. Uh, but with generator, you won't get it. So let's look at it, how it works. Infinite maker. And if I say console log calling this, Even though it looks like it's an infinite loop, uh, it's because it's pausing, it's not going to the, all the values. Uh, it only calls yield when I call next. That is why uh, it works. Otherwise, it, it would give you stack overflow. So if I run this, ah, I made a mistake. I get, you know, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and done is false. Uh, and I can keep going, and it would, it would give, keep giving me new values. So this is the advantage of uh, generator. Because it pauses, um, it maintains the state while I want to call the next. Uh, also, uh, you can have multiple generators, and you can yield from you can yield from one generator to another. So let's say if I have a generator uh, which yields one and three, uh, and I can create another generator, and it just basically yields two. Uh, so I can say here uh, yield. star and this should this should yield one two and three basically uh, so this you can also do so if i run this i would get one two three and under five now returning any value would stop the generator there so if i say right here in between if i say return uh hello this basically stops the so this will be the last value so i run this after hello it stops so hello is the last value let's look at a more useful uh, example of how to use generators so we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at an example using promises uh, if you don't know much about promises i have a tutorial i'll provide a link here uh, to resolve promises we're gonna use generators so here I have a function. It takes a URL and it returns me a promises. It basically, it gets the content of the URL uh, back. And if it's, uh, if it's successful, uh, then it resolves it. If it's uh, not successful, it rejects it. Here, I can yield the value of the request. So I can say uh, URL one. So, you know, it could be any URL. Then I can yield the request of URL2. Now, this is, I'm just trying to explain in on a concept. 
Uh, otherwise, this this example could be quite complex to uh, to understand. But just to, to if you look at this, uh, the first yield would go and get the data for you know uh, for URL one, and because the way generator works, it only yields one value at a time. It pauses. It doesn't move to the next line until it gets a result from the first one. It will make this AJAX call. Uh, you know, fire up this promise would get the data, and once it's finished getting the data, then only you will move to the next line to get the the result from the next uh, URL. Now the beauty of this is if the if the data from the the first URL is needed to to be used in the second call then this m makes much more sense because of the dependency issue uh, this works perfectly because you get the U the data from the url1 uh, you don't execute the url2 until you get the complete data and you extract the information you needed to get from the url1 and then you pass it into url2 to get the second sets of the data I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to how to do this, but I just want to show you in concept how it works. So that's all, folks. Uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And if you did, please uh, uh, provide uh, some comment and uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.